I'm here on Edgewater Drive in Dunedin, Florida, one of my favorite places to walk and ride my bike. Uh, Dunedin is considered to be one of the oldest towns in the west coast of Florida. So on top of it having a lot of rich culture and history, it's a beautiful place to live and there's so much to do when it comes to the downtown area, beaches and parks. So come with me to see a little bit of Dunedin. I am at Edgewater Drive here in Dunedin, just outside the downtown area of Dunedin. It's an awesome little park where they have events every time there's a special occasion. On the other side, we have the Dunedin Marina where people can park their boats. And there's also a really awesome restaurant over there at the edge. It's called uh, Bon Appetit. They have Italian and seafood. It is a little bit higher price, but it's great for special occasions. Definitely recommend. I'm parked here at one of the, really the only parking garage that we have here in Dunedin. Thank God that we have this because other than that, uh, we have small little parking lots, but for the most part, parking is free, which is a beautiful thing about Dunedin. Um, but I'm gonna walk around and show you, uh, first of all, the Pinellas Bike Trail, the trail that runs straight through the downtown area, and just continue to walk around to show you uh, some of the local breweries and restaurants that we have here in the downtown area. And I actually think that there is a market going on and I'm not surprised they have markets all the time here in Dunedin. So we'll walk through there and check it out. So one thing that I get asked a lot by out-of-state clients is that they're looking for properties here as an investment and mostly to do short-term rentals. And so here in Dunedin, there's actually a restriction, a three month minimum for the most part. And so if that's something that you're looking to do in the area, there's a very specific zoning that would allow it. So if that's something you're looking for, just keep in mind, it's not gonna be very simple to find. Not every place allows it here, um, just certain zonings. So a fun little fact in Dunedin, I don't know if you have noticed, but there are several buildings, homes and businesses that have oranges that have been painted on them. This all stems from the rich history that Dunedin has uh, with oranges, orange groves, tons of oranges came from Dunedin back in the day. And so I'm not sure exactly when this started, but somewhere along the line, a local artist started to paint oranges on these buildings and it sort of caught on and people are now wanting these oranges painted on their house and it's become a fun little hide and seek game that you can play when you're here in town. How many oranges can you count? I think now there is over a thousand oranges that have been painted on local businesses and homes. 
Uh, so yeah, just a fun little fact. Keep your eye out and uh, how many oranges can you count here in Dunedin? We are here in one of the neighborhoods just a few blocks from the downtown area of Dunedin. So you have a good example of the type of homes that are here. Uh, most of the homes are pretty old. The house that I'm going to show you was built in the 1940s. Uh, can you believe that? That's crazy. But it's been renovated and it's on this beautiful little neighborhood with cobblestones through the road and a very short drive to the downtown area. So let's check it out. So I made it here to Weaver Park, another cool park that we have here in Dunedin. And of course now it's raining, but that's okay. This park is awesome. It's basically right in the middle ground of Dunedin. Uh, you have the Pinellas Trail that runs alongside of it and so does Alternate 19. And on the other side you have the beautiful Gulf of Mexico. We have a playground, swings, pavilions, uh, a little workout area also uh, with a beautiful view. Can't beat that. Well, would you look at that. As I'm driving away from Weaver Park to the causeway to show you, the rain has stopped. <laughs> One of the awesome or annoying things about Florida, depending on how you look at it, uh, when it rains, sometimes it'll be raining for five minutes and then it goes and you have clear blue skies. Uh, right now they're not clear and blue, but the rain has stopped and uh, I'm excited about that because I'm going to head to the causeway now and onto Honeymoon Island to show you what that looks like. Alright, so I have made it to Honeymoon Island here in Dunedin, the only beach that we have here in Dunedin. It is a state park, so you have to pay to get in, but my recommendation is to get an annual pass. Uh, especially if you're a frequent goer to the beach like I am, it's definitely worthwhile. And if you get the pass, it gets you into any Florida state park for free for a year. I think it was $80 to get it, so in my opinion, very much worth it. Ideally, it would be a nicer day, but that's okay. At least the sun is coming down for me and the rain has stopped. Uh, this beach is really well kept. And on the other side, uh, we have a nature trail walk. And on the south tip, we have a dog beach. So if you're a dog lover and your dog loves the beach, it's a great place to bring the dog to run around and uh, swim around. This is one of my favorite places to come watch the sunset. 
especially during the time of the year where the sun sets a little bit later in the day. After work, I come here, catch the sunset, and it's just the best end to a great day. So I'm standing right in front of Highlander Aquatic Center. So this is the community pool where you can come and swim around, but it is closed during the winter season. So right now it is closed because it's currently January, but during the summer, it's a really great place to come and swim if you don't have a pool at your house. There's also a splash pad for kids, playground, baseball, pickleball, uh, tennis courts, and we are super close to Dunedin High School not too far from Dunedin Elementary and Middle School. And there's also a really cool art center right around the corner. And we're pretty centrally located here, about the halfway point to the downtown area and halfway to the Dunedin Causeway. That's a wrap on our lovely little Dunedin adventure. And by the way, if you're ever second guessing, how do I pronounce that lovely little town? Think about it like this. You're done Eden. You're not eating anymore. You're done Eden. Done Eden. Just a little tip. Keep that in mind. But if you love this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, comment below. And don't forget to subscribe so that you're notified each time that I post. I will be posting about what it's like to live here on the Gulf coast of Florida. So remember that more so than putting out this content, I love to help buyers and sellers here in this real estate market. So if you're thinking about buying or selling here in Pinellas County or the greater Tampa Bay area, let's schedule a call. I would love to get to know you and help you through the process. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself.